Okay, if you haven't joined Stake yet, there's a link in the description below. Click on it, you'll get a free stock. And Stake is great. Um, if I knew about Stake sooner, I've actually been $20,000 richer. As I was going to put $10,000 into Tesla back in March when they were around 600 or something. Um, Comsec took ages to set up my international accounts. And then what else? You can do it. You need to fill out a form with Stake. It takes about 10 minutes. You're all done. Deposit the money in. Takes a day. And you're on your way. So, I wish I'd known you sooner, Stake. I wish I'd known you sooner. Okay, let's get in this stock, shall we? And without further ado, the stock is Brookfield Renewable Partners. Listed on the NYSE and the TSX. Here are some recent prices as of July 31st, 2020. So what does Brookfield do? Well, as the name states, renewable energy, they do renewable energy. Okay, so they've got hydro, wind, solar, distributed generation, which is basically the solar and rooftops of buildings. And then they have storage, which is mostly pump storage, which if you didn't know, they have two water reservoirs. In non-peak hours, they might pump the water from the bottom one to the top one, and then when they need it in peak hour, they will let it run down, collecting energy. So once again, they might get solar and wind during the day. They pump it up the top, and then in peak demand, they let it flow down, collecting energy. So I'll go to the next slide. Gives you an overview of the spread. So 82% in hydro, 16% wind, 2% solar. And if you didn't know, hydro is very reliable compared to wind and solar. It's pretty much like a big battery that's getting drained and refilled with the rain. And so that's why they have a very reliable dividend, thanks to their hydro. Obviously there's um, limitations with hydro because you obviously need a place to put it, so it's not going to be available all around the world, but it is quite a good one if you have the place in mind. It also creates a moat around the business because who is going to build a hydro facility right next to another one? Nobody. That is the answer. No one. Okay, so the world spread. North America, 60%. Brazil, 20%. Colombia, 15 And a touch of 5% in Europe and Asia. And then 92% contracted, which means they receive money from contracts signed and dotted. Okay, we'll just have a quick look at the chart here. So, go to six months. Seems to be fairly steady. You would have got a great deal down here. If I knew about this company, I would definitely have piled a lot of money in here. Um, and then, yeah, have a look at the dividend yield, 4.37%. I will explain in a moment why this is just being reduced slightly. And also explain later why there is no PE ratio in here. So let's have a look at, at this dividend yield and why it has dropped a slight bit. Okay, so why you wouldn't trust this dividend yield here is because recently, on June 30, 2020, they did a stock split, so anyone owning four shares received one extra share for nothing, which diluted their shares, so it didn't mean much for people buying before then, but buying after, it is an issue. So, um, we'll go through the reason why they did this. B PC is expect to expand our universe of potential investors, U.S. retail investors, index funds and exchange traded funds, active money managers, additional indices, European investors, um, and also this tax benefits for some people depending on which one you're buying in. So that's the gist of why they've done it: give more people opportunity to buy in, make it better for some in certain places, etc., etc. So we'll go through the adjusted dividend which I've worked out before was a dollar and seventy three cents. I'll go through the sum again for you. So we take this trailing twelve month dividend payment of two dollars seventeen times that by four and divide by five we get our new dividend payout. A dollar and seventy three cents. Okay, so what was I going to work out? I was going to go back to the price and then divide this by the price to get our new percentage. So 3.8%, maybe close to 3.9 with that 7 there. 
thereabouts. Okay, so we'll move along now. Quick note to myself and to you, you probably should only be investing in stuff you fully understand, something that's got a really good moat, something you're familiar with, and that is all I can say. I know Warren Buffett's been going down lately, buying in these stocks that are getting taken out by disruption, but really just think about your stock, how it's going to be in the future, will it grow, is it well priced, does it have a moat? And don't just go throwing your money around on any willy-nilly stock. Just a quick note, this video was filmed over a couple of days, maybe three, I'm not sure at the moment. I'm in the middle of filming it. Um, so that's why the prices fluctuated up and down. But just have a look at what the price is today and you get an idea. Do your own sums. Your own research is always the best. Okay, so I stayed before. There was no PE ratio to work off. Um, this is due to their big depreciation write-offs. So we will look at the free cash flow and then compare this number against the cost of buying the whole company to see what we're getting here. As you see here, they have quite good free cash flow. The twelving, sorry, the trailing 12 month, $981 million. And then we'll look at the growth here from 2017 to 2019. Pretty good, 573 up to 868 and over a billion. So we'll do this sum now. Okay, so let's do this sum. I've already done here. Gets to 12.5%. I'll do it again for you. So 981 million in free cash flow divided by the market cap shown on Yahoo here. Seven billion eight hundred fifty seven million dollars. So seven eight five seven. Gives us twelve and a half percent. So for simplicity, let's round that down to ten. 10 times 10 is 100%, so you'll get your money back in terms of free cash flow within 10 years. And remember that it was a growing cash flow, so it couldn't be sooner. But don't take my word for it. Study this yourself and know a company inside out before you even buy a little bit of it. Otherwise, you're pretty much gambling your money away. Okay, and if you want to know more about where their places are, you come to this side. I'll put the link in the description below. You can actually drag across here, show the gigawatts they have. Then you can click into here, North America. And then you can hover over these ones. It says what they have there. You got the keys here. And yeah.